So far, it's just me and DJ. So hi, DJ and Brianna. We're just going to give people a few minutes to get on. Hi, everyone. We got a few minutes before class gets started, so I'm just letting everyone log in. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. If you can turn your video on, just wanna make sure my sound's okay for you. So this is going to be a healthy back class. So we're gonna do abs and back. Um, we will be going down to the floor. So if you have a carpet or a mat with you at home, um, feel free to lay that out. So we will be starting standing and then we'll go down to our floor, okay? Um, you can have shoes on or off. I'm barefoot, so totally up to you what you want to do. But again, I'm just gonna give everyone a few more minutes to get on and then we'll get started. So again, I'm Brianna from the Lockport YMCA. Hello everyone, and this is going to be a healthy back class. So I do have all of you muted, um, just so you can see me the entire time. And um, all I ask is if you wanna keep your video on, that will help me with guiding you to correct form, or you can leave it off. Totally up to you. I'll give everyone about one more minute and then we'll get started. Make sure you have water. And I'm not gonna play any music in the background, so if you want to turn your own music on at your own home, that's great. And also look in the bottom left hand corner just to make sure that you are muted. So then um, if there is any background noise, then I won't disappear from your screen. <laughs> I think we're ready to get started. If anyone else joins in, fabulous. So I'm just gonna tilt my screen a little bit so you can see. All right, so we're gonna start in the standing position. We're gonna go into a nice little quick warm up before we go down to our mat. So I want everyone to just start standing, shoulders rolled back, hips, shoulder width apart, feet standing, shoulder width apart. And we're gonna come into a moving chair pose. So we're sitting back into an imaginary chair, lifting up, chest is open. Again, just warming up the body here, sitting back. Our weight is shifted into our heels, our hips are pushed back. So just doing a few more of these to really warm up the body. Nice job, and make sure we're breathing. So we're exhaling as we're sitting back into that chair, inhaling as we lift up. Beautiful. And again, feel free to turn your video on if you'd like me to see and critique, critique any form, but otherwise, I trust that you're doing a great job. Go at your own level. If you need any modifications, feel free to modify as you need. Let's do a few more here. So again, exhale, sitting back, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sitting back, beautiful. Now this one, we're gonna hold it down. So exhale, hold it here. And let's stay here for two full breaths. So inhaling nice and deep. Exhaling, good. Stay here for one more breath, inhale. And exhale, good, let's rise out of that chair. Doing one more sitting back now, staying here for three breaths. So really strength building that lower body. So inhale, nice and deep. And exhale, two more full breaths, inhale. And exhale, one more, we can do it, inhale. And exhale, good, lefting up, shake those legs out. 
All right, we're gonna stand a little bit wider here. We're gonna point our toes out, our knees and our toes are in line. And we're gonna sit back and lift up. So now we're working more of our inner and outer thighs, okay? We're gonna go a little bit faster here. And on this one, we're gonna stay down into a pulse. So pulsing for four, three, two, one, rise. Good, again, lower down, pulse for four, three, two, one, and one more time. Exhale down, pulse, four, three, two, one. Good, lifting up, shake those legs out. We're gonna come into an inchworm. So this is where we're gonna use our mat or our carpet. We're gonna stand at the edge of our mat and we're gonna walk ourselves out into an inchworm. Coming into that head plank, you can hold here and walk it back or you can drop it down to a push up and then walk yourself back in. So option to stay in that plank or do that push up and then come back up. But we're gonna do five of these. So coming down, modification, drop to the knees, push up, coming down, Good, lifting up and then walking back. Good, three more. So we're warming up the upper body, those shoulders, that upper back. Again, option to do that push up or to just stay in that plank. Good, we got two more. Nice job, everyone, nice and strong. So again, take your time here, walking yourselves out, modification, dropping to the knees, lowering down keeping our elbows into our thighs and then pushing ourselves back up. We have one more to complete our warm up. Good, walking down. Push up or no push up. And then coming back in. Beautiful, slowly rising back up. Nice job everyone. Grab water if you need it. That's our warm up, just making sure everyone can see my mat. Because now we're gonna come down to the mat. So how we do that, again, we're standing at the edge of our mat. We're gonna walk ourselves down. This time, we're gonna come into downward facing dog. Okay, so our wrists are over shoulders, our hips are pushed up and back. Feel free to pedal out your feet. If you're feeling tight in your hamstrings, okay? And most importantly, it's important to breathe. So as we stay here, we're pushing our hips up and back towards the sky, allowing our head to fall in between our arms. Good, we're gonna inhale to high plank. So notice how flat my back is. Pull that belly button to core. Drop to your knees if you need to, okay? So option, modification, dropping to our knees, lowering down. Good, inhaling to cobra. Nice stretch here with those core. Good. Then we're gonna lift up onto our toes, push our hips back into child's pose. So this is a nice yoga flow we're gonna do a few more times. So as we inhale out of the child's pose, we're gonna lift up onto our toes, push our hips up and back into downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale to high plank, drop to your knees or do full chaturanga, lowering down. Inhale, lift to cobra. Excellent, exhale, push back and rest into child's pose. Beautiful, two more of those. So inhale, pushing up, lifting our hips towards the sky. Exhale to high plank. Drop to your knees or stay tall, lower down to your mat. Inhale to cobra. Good, exhale to child's pose. Pushing our hips back, widening our knees. One more yoga flow. So we lift into tabletop, lift up onto our toes, push up and back into downward dog. Last flow here, exhale to high plank. Drop to your knees or full lower down. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to child's pose. Good, inhale to tabletop. Nice job, everyone. All right, so coming into tabletop, we are having our wrists below shoulders, our knees below hips. We're gonna come into bird dog. Well, if this is all gibberish, that's okay. I'm going to explain. So we're going to lift opposite arm and opposite leg. So reaching, 
opposite arm, opposite leg. I want you to think about length. So reaching through your fingertips, reaching through your toes, looking down at your mat to keep your spine in line. Good. From here, we're going to exhale, tap our fingers and our toes down, and then lift up. And you're gonna feel that nice exercise working in your lower back. Exhale, dropping down. Good, lift. We're gonna do a few of these. As you exhale, you lift those fingers and toes up as high as it's comfortable for you. Eight, seven, six, five, Four more, last three, last two. This one, hold it up and hold. Good, reach. We're gonna do little pulses, lifting an inch, lowering an inch. Lift, lower, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower down. Resting here, sitting our hips back, widening our knees. Staying here for one breath, quick rest. Excellent. We're gonna inhale up, coming back into that tabletop. Same leg, but this time we're going to push the bottom of our foot up towards the ceiling. So we still are pulling our belly button into spine, okay? Nice tight core. Let's press that heel towards the ceiling for 10, nine, Eight, nice and slow pulses here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Good, last one slow, and then 10 fast. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 slow, 10. Good, really drive that heel up towards the ceiling. Eight, seven, keeping our gaze down to our mat, keep our spine in line. Four more, three, two, last one, 10 quick, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that knee in, rest down, extend the opposite leg back. Rest here, good. So we're gonna feel it a little bit in our low back. We are working our low back here. Nice job, everyone, you're doing great. Now it's time to work the other side. So we're going to lift back up into our tabletop position, sliding that knee out, okay? Now extending the opposite side. So opposite leg and opposite arm are extended. Again, we're still looking down at the floor of our mat, right? Inhale, let those fingers and toes release. Exhale, lift. Good. So find your breath here. Nice slow movements. Good. This isn't a high intense class. What we all still work just as hard, right? Good. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two more. Last one, hold it up. Good, really reach through the fingertips, through the heel. Now we're gonna lift an inch, lower an inch. So we lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay with me, last one. Good, lower down, sitting back into child's pose. Resting the forehead onto your mat, sinking your hips back. Staying here for one breath. And then we're exhale, lifting back up into tabletop. We gotta work the other side. So heel is coming up. We are planting that foot to our ceiling. Our wrists are still below our shoulders. Our knee is below hip. So here we go, we're pulsing up Nice and slow for 10. Imagine that you're stamping that foot on top of your ceiling. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one slow. 10 quick. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten slow. So you already know what's coming. We have two sets of ten left. Seven more. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, ten fast. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Slide that knee in. Send the opposite leg back, folding forward. Nice rest here. We are halfway through. Nice job, guys. I hope we're feeling great. Beautiful. Take a deep breath. Grab water if you need it. And we're going to roll onto our back. All right. So lifting up, pull that knee out. We're going to roll onto our back here. So grabbing our front and just slowly rolling back, letting each vertebrae come onto the floor. We're going to press our shoulders, roll our shoulders down into their pockets, press them deeply into our mat, bring our heels as close to our rear as possible, placing our palms down. Now looking up at our ceiling, we're going to press the hips up, coming into a bridge, squeezing the glutes. If you have a weight, so maybe we want to push your hands onto our hips to create an extra little bit of work, feel free, or you can leave your palms down. So lower down, we're hovering, leaving some space before we get to the floor, and then pushing right back up. Good. So again, exhale, pushing up, inhale, release. Very nice. So we're working our glutes here. Very important that we remember to breathe, engage the core. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two more. This one, we're going to hold it up. So press the hips high. Really push back into those upper shoulders. Good. And exhale, release. Now crossing right foot over our left knee. Okay. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can always stick your legs straight up. Okay. So two options here, creating that number four. We're going straight up. We're now going into a single leg bridge. So we're going to lift up and lower down just as we did with two feet on the ground, but now we're really isolating the one side. So join me, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four. Remember to breathe, maybe you're counting with me. Three, two, last one. And release, other side, switching it out, left, either fully extended or crossed over the right. Again, shoulders are into our mat, lifting up. Good. Nice job, everyone. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last one, and release. Nice job. We're going to stay here into our tabletop, but this time we're going to lift the legs off the floor, and you're going to feel your low back come into your mat, okay? From here, we're just going to tap our toes down, okay? Alternating, really engage the core, pull the belly button into spine. Good. The shoulders and the low back are pressed into the mat. So we're going to do this for about 30 seconds, just alternating. You guys are doing fabulous. I hope you're feeling great. And again, slow this down. Work at your own pace, okay? Keep breathing. About 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, beautiful. Taking those legs, keeping them into tabletop. Now bringing our hands out into a T. We're going to drop our knees down to either side, okay? So if we hover, it makes it a little bit more work. Exhale, bring those legs back up. Inhale, dropping them down to the other side. This is called a windshield wiper. Exhale, lift those legs up. If this is too challenging, drop the feet, okay? And drop the knees to either side. So this is our modification. So we're staying here for about 30 seconds. If you want that extra challenge, lift the legs up, 
Press that low back into the mat. Hover the knees over the floor. Take your time here. We're halfway through. Remember to breathe. Inhale as you drop those knees to the floor. Exhale as you pick them up. Great job, everyone. About 10 more seconds. Hopefully we can feel it in our abs, yeah? For three, two, one. Good, bringing the fingertips behind the head. We're gonna roll up just slightly. We're gonna extend one leg out. We're gonna come into bicycles. So bringing opposite knees, opposite elbows, switching it out. 30 seconds here. Again, going at your own pace. The lower you drop your heel to the floor, the harder it is. And keep breathing. That's the most important part is to breathe, not to hold our breath through the exercise. Nice job. Halfway. Who's still with me? Make sure we smile. We got to have fun, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, pull those knees into our chest. Take a deep breath, maybe we rock side to side. Work that lower back out. Maybe grab some water if we need to. Okay, but we're gonna rock ourselves up to a seated position because we're gonna come onto our front, okay? So again, make sure that you grab water whenever you need it, okay? We're gonna roll onto our bellies. Legs are extended, arms are extended. We're gonna look down at um, to our mat. We're gonna come into swimmers, okay? So as we're looking down, we're going to lift opposite leg and opposite arm, okay? Alternating, but very important that you keep your head looking down at your mat, okay? You wanna keep that spine line. So we're going nice and slow here. Don't worry, we'll speed it up. But for now, we're just keeping it nice and slow. Get the tempo, find your breath. Good. All right, for 10 seconds, we're gonna speed it up into some swimmer flutters. Ready? Here we go. Speed it up, 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, slow it down. Lifting opposite arm, opposite leg, nice and slow. Nice job, everyone. Good, love the videos. It makes you feel that I'm not alone on here. <laughs> All right, keep working nice and slow, about four more slow. Last two, then we're gonna speed it up. Here we go, we're ready, 10 seconds. Fast swimmers, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Rest. Good, maybe bring our hands under our forehead. Or just rest them out, but find this time to take a nice deep breath. We're gonna move into some planks, so you're gonna need that extra breath. We're gonna slide our hands, elbows in towards our sides, hands by our chest. And let's just lift up into a gentle cobra. Stretch out our abs. And then exhale, release. Good. Now we're gonna come into a forearm plank, okay? So we're gonna bring our forearms out in front of us and we're gonna lift up onto our toes, okay? And coming into a forearm plank. Modification is drop to our knees, okay? So you may drop to your knees whenever you need to, but we're gonna hold this forearm plank for 30 seconds, all right? So who's with me? Are we ready? And begin, 30 seconds, lifting up. Make sure our elbows are below our shoulders, our belly button is pulled into the spine. And where are we looking? Of course, down at our neck to keep our spine in line. Look at that, we're already halfway through. Remember to breathe. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Great job. 
We're not done yet. We're going to roll onto one side, coming into a side plank. So modification is the leg that's closest to your mat is going to be left down. Okay, so this is our modified side plank, right? Or if you would like a full plank, you can stack the legs, you can split the legs, okay? You can drop this hand down for balance, or you can bring it straight up to make it a little more challenging for you, okay? So 30 seconds here on our side plank, whatever works for you, ready and lift. Okay, remember that elbow and shoulder are in line. Feel free to place your arm wherever you'd like. Okay, totally up to you, but remember to breathe. Lifting our heads so our completely tall spine. We're doing great. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, lower down. Now we're all gonna come into a modified version. We're gonna do a few different breathing exercises. So as we lift, we're gonna swoop our free hand underneath, inhale, up towards the sky or our ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Good. So just a few deep breaths here, still working our abdomen, but now really focusing in on our breath. Two more. And then we're gonna roll back onto our front for another forearm plank. Good, exhale, release. Lowering down, rolling back onto our front. So this time, we have the option to challenge ourselves. So before, we held our forearm plank. Now, to challenge yourself, you can move into a saw position. So rolling an inch forward and an inch back, okay? That would challenge the exercise. Depending where you are today, feel free to stay in the forearm plank or a kneeling plank, or join me for the saw, okay? 30 seconds. Lifting now. So again, you can saw one inch forward, one inch back, pulling that belly button to spine. Very small movement here. Remember to breathe. Nice job, 10 seconds. Tap down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Now we gotta hit the other side. So I'm gonna roll over so you can still see my front. But we're going to our other side for our side plank. Remember our modification is to keep that knee down. Okay, lifting up. You can place your hand down on your mat or up towards the sky, whatever works for you, or you can stack your legs. But we got 30 seconds. Here we go. Lift. And remember to breathe. Pull that belly button to the spine. Make sure your elbow and shoulder are in line. Dropping that one knee down whenever you need to. Nice job, everyone. Getting stronger by the second. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Tuck that lower leg under. We're going to lift up into that modified side plank for some breathing work. So like inhale, lifting the fingertips to the sky, exhale, swooping them underneath. Good, inhale, lift, exhale, down. Inhale, lift, a few more here. This is your recovery. I know it may not feel like it, but it is. Good, one more, inhale, lift. Exhale down. Beautiful, and lowering down. Nice job, everyone. All right, I hope we're feeling great because it's about time to get into our final stretch. So let's roll onto our front. Good. We're going to lift ourselves up, placing our hands under our chest, lifting onto our toes. And there's my dog, Gina. <laughs> and we're going to lift up and back into downward facing dog. And remember that float we had done in the beginning. We're going to flow back into that. We're going to flow into high plank. Drop to your knees or fully lower down. Inhale to cobra. Stay here for a little bit longer than we did the first time around. Exhale, pushing up and back, widening the knees. Bringing our forehead down to mat. And from here, we're gonna take our left arm, swoop it underneath our right, 
Allow that shoulder and head to rest onto our mat. Beautiful, inhale, coming back to that child's pose, resting the forehead down. Sliding now the right hand underneath the left arm, resting the forehead and shoulder down. Beautiful, inhale, back to child's pose. And on your next exhale, we're going to press up into our tabletop position. Knees below hips, wrists below shoulders. We're going to pull that belly button to spine. Coming into a cat cow, letting that belly fall towards your mat, bringing your eyes to ceiling. Good. Coming into a nice flow here. Inhale and exhale. Letting that spine relax. Good, two more. Good, last one. And coming back to a neutral spine in that tabletop position. Lifting up onto your toes. We're gonna push ourselves up and walk our hands back towards our feet or feet to our hands. Coming into a forward fold, okay? Feel free to let your head hang, maybe cross our arms, letting our hands grip opposite elbows, rock side to side. However you're feeling tonight as we go into this evening. Release the fingertips back to the mat. We're gonna inhale, halfway lift, bringing our fingertips right below knees, really allowing our spine to become nice and flat. Okay, looking out in front of our mat. Good, exhale, forward fold. Now this time as we inhale, inhale, let all the vertebrae come back in line, slowly rising, rolling the shoulders up and back into their pocket. Good, coming into a standing position, feet shoulder width apart. Let's take a big inhale, lifting up. Exhale down, softening the knees, inhale, lift. And exhale down. Grab yourself a round of applause. Nice job, 30 minutes in the books. Thank you so much for joining me again, I'm Brianna, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.